Good evening, everyone, and welcome to 13 on your sidelines presented by Mercy Health. I'm Jamal Spencer. And I'm Michael Shedd. Rockford and Hudsonville have faced each other at least once each season, sometimes twice since 2003. A shortened season almost ended that streak, but the playoffs, as it does, brought them together. And in talking to the players and coaches, they were excited about this one to play each other in tonight's Game of the week. It was scoreless late in the first quarter. Then Rockford Zach Aaron breaking the ice. He's got time. You can't give him time because he's going to make the most of it. Good find to Brock Halverda in the end zone for the 7 0 lead for Rockford. That score would stick into the third quarter when Rockford started to heat up. Halverda this time back to throw, launches it up. Caden Churi in the corner of the end zone for the score 14 0 Rams. Later, Eagles on the drive. They're trying to respond. Dylan Ham gets the handoff. Oh, he can't Ooh. hold on to the ball. Rockford recovers all the momentum now on their side. Halwerda again. What did we learn last time? You can't give him time. You can't give him space or else he's going to do this. Way to keep the play alive. Right, yeah. And I was a little off there with my timing, but th the point nonetheless, that's uh, Calvin Keeb there for the 16-yard score. 21 nothing reps. Now I'm behind. Give credit to the Eagles, though. They, they came back one more touchdown. Trevor McLearn in for the uh, end zone there. 28-7 was the score there. Rockford too much. They'll play Granville next week. 42-7 victory over Hudsonville tonight. We battled. We battled all first half. We knew that Hudsonville was a great team, and we just came out with a lot of energy in the second half. Offense line did a great job giving me time to throw, and the receivers caught the ball. And it was a good team win. You know, we took it quarter by quarter, and, and the message to the guys was simple, okay? Come out and, and win the third quarter. Um, you know, build, build off from what the coaches talked about with the adjustments and make sure that, I mean, that was the focus truly coming out to make sure that these guys perform and go win that third quarter. I think that jump pass there. Uh, hey, I want to mention when we talk about Rockford, this was a team earlier this season, Jamal, that, that had some problems. They lost three games because of, you know, the COVID-19, uh, you know, they had to, that quarantine themselves. Now they're back with a vengeance. You get the sense they've learned a lot from that and they are all in right now. Definitely, and it's a different feel for a lot of people. They're used to seeing power football from Rockford. Well, now when you got a quarterback like Arn who can do so many things, spread you out, he can keep plays alive with his feet. Now the Rams are looking like a dangerous team in the playoffs. 